Good day, Columbia, and welcome to Arts Watch. I'm William Starr, and this week we're at the Robert Mills House. We're going to get a tour about all the new exhibits that are right here from the Director of Cultural Resources right now. Well, the Robert Mills House is kind of the flagship uh, property that Historic Columbia manages. It's owned by the City of Columbia. Um, it's the reason that Historic Columbia was founded in 1961. Uh, it's one of five national historic landmarks here in Columbia, one of only five. Um, when you come here, uh, depends on the time of year, depends on um, perhaps the season, uh, you see something different. Uh, we have focus galleries in which uh, we have artifacts that are perhaps new to the collection or maybe a certain type of artifact, such as the silver gallery here, that really looks at one aspect of material culture. You come here and you learn not just about beautiful things, but how those things were used, why they were made in the first place, um, who would have been using them, and, and how they came about, uh, how they came to be in Columbia. And it surprises some people that we have not only, of course, um, silver, but examples of other pieces, such as uh, this firearm that was um, owned by Thomas W. Radcliffe, who was a silver merchant. Um, silver merchants were smart. They diversified. They didn't always carry silver. They carried militaria. They carried collectibles. Some people um, sold watches and clocks. The materials that were donated to us are largely showcased in these two uh, spaces here, and they are examples of um, uh, alkaline glaze ceramics made here in Columbia. The ceramics exhibit has, is a, a, a permanent exhibit. Um, it's one that you would see on a, a typical tour. So when you go and see the period rooms uh, at the Robert Mills house. The same with the silver uh, exhibit. It's upstairs. That's a focus gallery that's permanent. But again, the contents of these focus galleries will change over time because we want people to understand the breadth of our museum collection. Uh, and we want to have people appreciate the fact that you know, if there are items that we can acquire um, through donation, uh, that people will get a chance to see those. Wow, John, thank you so much. So not only in addition to the Robert Mills House, there are four additional houses that Historic Columbia has to offer. As the weather gets great, I want to encourage everyone to come out and see the incredible homes and the exhibits right here given by Historic Columbia. I want to thank you for watching Art Watch. I'm William Starrett. Make art a big part of your day and make it a good day, Columbia.